I'm just gonna hold the brake and the we'll kind of like power brake it in reverse so nothing you can hear nothing in reverse it's only when you go forward does the torque on that uh, transmission lift the whole engine up you hear that shutter All right, welcome back party people. Today, we're working on a 2002 Acura RSX. It's the base model, and it has been making an odd noise when H-Money drives it. And so I was able to get in it and reproduce the noise, and I'll show you what that sounds like and looks like. Pretty much a thud type of noise coming from the front of the engine compartment and it seems like it's coming from the driver's side wheel area so we had a suspicion of what it may be because it seems to be a common problem on the 2002 through 2006 Acuras and let me show you all right let's take a look under the hood here and you can see let's see if I can get this focused good zoom in all right so you can see there that that transmission mount the rubber inside has completely deteriorated and looks like it's cracked. All right, so that is referred to as the lift transmission mount. So as always, I have my service manual out and you can see here for the automatic transmission 2002 through 2003, we're looking at this particular mount right here. So that rubber bushing in there has been completely destroyed. I'll show you the, the engine mount on the, on the right side and we'll go up under and show you the engine mounts for the rear and the front we'll just go through and make sure all of those look good we were on the driver's side so if you come to the passenger side here here's your other mount here on top get some light in here today so there's your other mount you can see the rubber bushing right there in the center and it connects to the engine and that is called the side right engine mount all right so i just have the car pulled up on these ramps here and then also i have some jack stands under there just as a secondary precaution and i do have the wheels chopped as well all right so what you're going to want to do is go up under the car and find the subframe cross member this round bar here look right in the center of it and just kind of follow that up the rubber bushing and the mounting bracket right there in focus and uh, just kind of inspect that bushing make sure it looks okay and this one does let's see yep that one looks fine let's check the other side real quick all right, so that was the rear engine mount. So I'll go up under the front here and show you the front engine mount. All right, so what you wanna do is find your oil pan. All right, you'll find, so just to the driver's side of the oil pan, you'll see the transmission there. And if you look up in there, all right, so you look up up there and you can kind of see that kind of urethane looking yellow structure. That is a, that is the front engine mount. You can see the uh, bushing there. It's a square type mount. And you can see the bracket as well. So right there, that shiny silver bracket. Inside that is your bushing. That is the front engine mount. So that one looks okay too. So that was the four mounts. So you have a driver side or left transmission mount. You have a passenger side or right engine mount and you have a front engine mount and a rear engine mount all right so it looks like there's a couple of aftermarket ones for a reasonable price if you're a parts geek type of guy make sure you get the one for your particular transmission this is an automatic transmission um and then also i believe let's see if i have the oem part so this is what the OEM part looks like. You can see the price there. There's a big difference in price. Um, this is what the OEM part is. Number seven 
on this little diagram here. You can see it there. And the part number for that looks like it's 50805S7C-013. And it's called the rubber assembly transmission mounting. Alrighty, folks, we're back. We've got a new part and we're going to try to put it in the car today. Got a piece of wood to help support the transmission and the engine while we remove the old engine or transmission mount and uh, replace it with the new one. take you under show you where I have this supported at so remember we're replacing this uh, transmission mount that's right in this area here so I'm going to I think all right so there's the uh, the jack and the 2x4 and you can see the transmission there just enough tension on the jack to uh, hopefully hold that transmission in place as we remove that mount all right 10 millimeter first. And... All right, there's our battery. By the way, I'm also replacing the battery while I'm in here, so. Go ahead and move the, the bottom of the battery tray as well. All right, so that was the clip for the the vent hose there. We're going to remove the sensor here as well. There we go. We just unplug that. All right. See that little shiny sucker? It had a little uh, rubber stopper on top. that off there we go all right looks like all these brackets are 17 millimeters that one looks, there we go you need light Tell you what I'm looking for this. There we go. Doesn't seem to be too binded up. Let's see if we can get this one. There's a bracket. We want to keep that. We're not changing that out. It's it's fine. It's not broken. This side's easy to get to. This side over here, though, is going to probably have to going to have to use a, a smaller socket or a wrench. All right. So we're 14 millimeter. It's probably going to take a swivel unless you have a a wrench, which I didn't have. One loosened. There we go. And then we got, let's see, up here. There we go. All right, did you get that big? So the fuse box just clips on. These little clips here, you just press them in with your finger. And they unclip from these little metal tabs here. That gets the, the fuse box out of your way so you can access this bolt right here. Show them right there. That gives you access to that top bolt there. So just unclip you just that. see the finger? That point. Yeah. Finger, finger. That one right there. Yeah. 
And there's our engine mount. And you can see it's busted up. It's just dry rotted, basically. All right. That's all. So let's put the new one in. Let's see if it'll fit. I've heard some people say these aftermarket ones don't fit that great. So let's try it out. Mm. Come on. Will it line up? Looks like it might. You're probably not going to be able to see this too good, but... I don't want to get too overexcited about tightening these down yet until I get the whole bracket on there, probably. torque this one all right all right you ready to put her back together yeah. 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 All right. so I think what we need to do first is put the air box back in right? lined up there we lined up here let's get our hose on there Plug the sensor in real quick, right here. There she goes. It's kind of a pain to get to. So I just got my magnet on top of it. I'm just spinning the nut on top of it. That way you don't lose the, the nut. So it started now. Somebody, somebody removed it and didn't put it back on. See right there in the, see the bracket with a bolt that holds this on. A little hole with that. Yeah, it's just like this. And then that snaps in there like that. And then the negative cable snaps right there like that. All right, I believe we are ready for the battery. So that's a group 51 battery and uh, you got to get the right size for it to fit in here. Definitely a good fit. I believe that should be the one. that thing to touch anything. Yeah, yeah. Mean? Yeah. There we go. Got back on. Which is broke, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say. Let's see, how did this thing work like this? There's our new engine mount. Right there. Yep. All right, what did we miss? Did we miss anything? There you go. Good job. Hopefully. Hopefully, we'll see. Oh, oh. Drive it good? Yeah. Not not like a uh, uh, uh. Nope, none of that. So it's fixed. Alright, if you're curious what part I put back in it, we didn't go with the OEM. The OEM was over $120 at most auto parts stores. And even uh replicas of this anchor version here were anywhere between $80 and $120. I got this one from Parts Geek. It was $30, $39, something like that, shipped. 
And if you're curious about the part number, this is for an automatic transmission. The part number for the anchor is 9205. Now, I got to be honest with you, it looks like what they're doing is rebuilding the rubber inside and they're reusing the, the black metal because it came, it looked like it was a used part. But the, uh, the rubber mounting piece that helps with the vibration inside was new. All right, so we're going to wrap this video up right here. So until next time, skill up and ride, van up and go. And just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.